gosh, my sugar is leaking. My sugar is leaking. Ah. Oh, jeez. My battery dies. It's nice knowing you. Oh, there are some rooms. I, I don't have enough hands. It's time for the clap. And where the snap? I'm doing a lot of snapping. Okay, ready? A one, two, three. Hey, everyone. I'm Geneva, and I'm not your average oddity. I don't know what I am, but I'm not average, <laughs> and I am odd. So, you're probably wondering, why are you wearing a Christmas apron? And that is because I hadn't put away my Christmas apron yet, and I needed something because I'm known to be messy when I'm baking cookies. Yes, we are making cookies today from scratch. Haven't done that in a really long time. Actually, probably have only done it twice in my life, but I really want to make chocolate chip cookies, and I'm taking you along for the ride. So I only know one way how to make cookies, and that is by um, reading the directions off the chocolate chip bag. And there's, there's a lot of things. It requires a lot of things. Okay, what do I do first? Combine flour, baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon, and so. Oh wait, that's oatmeal cookies. Hold on. This recipe is oatmeal. I don't want oatmeal cookies. That is not what I signed up for. This bag let me down. What do I do? I gotta go look up. Hold up. All right, we're going rogue here because Clearly we're not making oatmeal cookies. Nothing against oatmeal cookies, I like oatmeal cookies. But, clearly we are in the mood for just straight up chocolate chip. That is what I'm prepared for. So, magic cut, cause I forgot to get anything out. I'm gonna combine some things. And we'll see what happens. Peeps, my arm hurts so much because of wi getting this to cream was no joke. My arm really hurts from this thing. Okay, what's next? Beat in eggs one at a time. If this doesn't go well, it was nice knowing you. No! I got it, I got it. I saved it. I saved it. Never have I ever done that. No, there's even a bigger piece. Good thing these cookies are only for me. That wasn't embarrassing or anything. I need a thingy. I don't know what I mean. I need a thingy. Ooh, jeez. I'm not to be trusted. Is it just me or is teaspoons a lot? Like, this looks like a very large amount. One teaspoon. Are we sure? Are we sure it's two? It is. I think honestly that's about the last of my. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's the exact amount I needed. You've served me well, Vanilla. I am supposed to dissolve baking soda in hot water. Baking soda in hot water. We gotta wait for it to get hot. We gotta wait for it to get hot. See, not that average after all. It said baking soda, right? What? Well, yeah. Holy. I wish you could see that. It was like having a reaction. Damn, I'm a science guy. That's what this feels like. All right, peeps. We're gonna use my Coca-Cola salt shaker to do this. Not exact science, clearly. But hey, this is, these are my cookies, so. I have to do three cups, so. Thanks again. So, six half cups will have to do. I should probably do this a cup at a time. Cause I could see what would happen if I really don't. So let's, or maybe, maybe I should do this too like pre-mix a little before I turn on the thing. I feel like I should do it more, but we're just going to see what happens. Thanks, Bob. Okay. You see 
why the apron is necessary now. The strategy worked well last time. <laughs> I, I don't have enough hands. Ah! I don't know where I lost you, but I was being destroyed by my mixer trying to mix the dough, and I understand why it's so difficult at this point. And I'm supposed to put in two cups, and I don't really know if there are rules. I feel like this bag only has two cups in it. Yeah, you know what? There are no rules. <laughs> there are some rules. Guys, I have cats. I don't want my cat to die because I don't know how to control my chocolate. Be careful, Geneva. Well, I'm definitely not gonna use the mixer on it this time. <laughs> How is this supposed to work? I kinda, should I do this with my hands? All right, I'm gonna glove up. And we're just gonna hand mix this because at this point, it's probably safer. That's gonna be my picture. I feel so powerful. <laughs> Maybe that was something. I'm gonna let this chill and my battery's gonna die, so I'm gonna let you charge and then we'll come back. And I'll clean up too. All right. Oh, this would be a huge cookie. What if I just was like, plop. It's cookie time. And for those of you who are like Geneva, why did you not eat one? Why did you not eat the dough beforehand? The answer is very simple. Don't want to get salmonella poisoning. Salm is that it? I don't want salmonella to make me ill from the flour. And yes, you heard me right. I said the flour. Because being in the news business long enough, I have learned that it's the un cooked flour that actually has a higher risk of giving you salmonella than raw egg. Fun fact. Look it up if you don't believe me. Yeah, Casey says look it up if you don't believe me. You hear her? She says my mom's so smart. My mom's so smart, but she's not living on the edge because she won't eat her own cookie dough. And she has points. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I'm, you know, I wing things. Pretty much all the time, forever and always. I don't really know what I'm doing. I know! I wish you supported me a little more than that, but it's true. <laughs> I think I made too much dough. I think I'm gonna be eating cookies for the rest of my life. I'm not even halfway through it. I know, I didn't really look at how much the recipe made. Casey's judging me over here. I wish you could see her judging me. You can only hear her judging me. Probably bored watching this, but it's a good thing I'm gonna edit it so you don't have to sit and watch me roll cookie dough balls this whole time. Be free. Okay. There's a duck. Hi, duck. <laughs> I thought you heard that. Here's my cookies pre baked. Hopefully they, um, you know, don't become one colossal cookie. I guess we'll find out. Alrighty. Look at these cookies. I just pulled them out of the oven. And they are looking basically marvelous. So, I'm not really sure how these cookies turned out. They look kind of shiny, but the inside looks cooked and stuff and nice. I have my milk here because milk, milk, milk. I say milk. Um, because you can't have a warm cookie without milk. So we're going to Oreo this and try it. I feel like I didn't put enough brown sugar in it. I feel like that's probably why it's such a light color, too. Like, it's missing. It's missing just that little bit of flavor. Ducky's coming to help 
taste test, even though we can't eat this because it has chocolate in it. You could technically have the milk, but it is mine. It is mine. In conclusion, this was really fun. And I'm going to have cookies for days. Well, thank you for joining me on this magical adventure of cookie making. I'll call it a success. See you next time.